Hi everybody, I hope everyone's doing well. This video I will be sharing with you guys my full review on my two holy grail concealers. So if you guys are interested, do stick around. So I shared this concealers recently in my current luxury luxury beauty favorites, but I've been using them for quite a while, for years, especially the concealer stick of Clay Depot. So these two concealers are by Clay Depot, one of the brands under the umbrella of Shiseido. Shiseido is the one that is a bit more known and has wider distribution. This is their prestige range, meaning it's a higher, more elevated, and more pricey range. So the Clay Depot stick concealer, this one, the uh, Radiant Corrector for Eyes, is a very new release. This was just released this 2018. But this concealer stick has been around for a long time and has honestly been holy grail or an OG concealer for a lot of beauty fans or like luxury beauty followers or celebrity makeup artists. So I'm going to begin by sharing with you guys a bit of what they're marketed to B, although on the website you guys it's the description is very basic and generic there really isn't anything you know outstandingly different or that stands out in the description but i will try to read it for you guys anyway so um the concealer stick is obviously meant to even out the skin tone cover blemishes spots freckles it's a luxuriously creamy stick concealer that enables precise application and effortless blending um, helps protect against UV rays, leaves skin looking smooth and refined with a seamless finish. I have to agree with some of those descriptions. And then if you do like a drop down in the ingredients, one of the ingredients that was quite the surprise for me is that this one actually has hyaluronic acid or sodium acid acetylated hyaluronate, which is like sodium hyaluronate is like hyaluronic acid. So. I was surprised. I didn't know it had this, although it's towards the end of the ingredient list still. That is still very good. So this is how it looks. The shade I use is an ochre. In MAC, I'm, I'm an M NC30. In Dior, I'm, a, I'm in 21, if you guys are interested. So like a medium. So the reason why this is Holy Grail is that honestly, you guys, you need very little. I don't apply this directly on the skin this way. I use like a a little thinner smaller stippling brush and I grab a little I, I buff it on the concealer stick and then buff it on the area that I want and it gives such a seamless finish like it blends right away just by by stamping it on my skin in the areas that I want and the finish is beautiful it's you don't need to even set it or need another product or even use my fingers I don't need to use my fingers it just when you apply it, it blends so quickly and you can see the difference. So again, I use the shade in ochre and I'm going to show you guys how I don't want to waste it, but you can hear the click and, and there's already a bit and a bit goes a long way. You guys like, look at this and it blends. So it is so lightweight and it blends. So it's almost like I'm painting when I'm using this brush. And again, I don't know if it's because it's Japanese, but Japanese make the best brushes in the world. And I think they've definitely put in some of that philosophy in creating the brush for this click pen because the brush of this click pen is the best freaking under concealer or concealer pen brush I've ever come across. And of course the formula, you guys, it is just like unbeatable, like the coverage. This one, as you can see, this is a stick concealer. This is the radiant corrector for eyes you can see it's a bit more brightening and every day you guys i've been using this and you don't need a lot and it just looks amazing so for both of these products there's no like super ingredient that stands out it's really the craftsmanship uh and the way the product is designed and also the formulation i believe but definitely in terms of finish the way they look on the skin and the long wear that it gives without creasing, especially this Radiant Corrector for Eyes, actually is why it's holy grail and makes it definitely worth the money. So I hope you guys found this review interesting and informative. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys have a great day or a great evening.